What's happening out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a little bit of fun with GTA. We're going to be doing some cool glitches. If you guys want an update on the solo money glitch with the BMX bike, it is still working at the time of making this video. I've tested all these glitches out and the solo dupe glitch. So that one's still working. But guys, in this video, it's all about these three glitches. We're going to be doing a launch glitch like you see right here, a really cool one. You can launch cars with this as well as just single, you know, like players. Uh, and it's really, really simple to do. You do need a friend for it, but it's well, well worth it. I'm also going to show you a solo off the radar glitch. Okay, solo off the radar. Uh, I'll get more into that, but that's basically the, the clip that you're seeing right here. Solo OTR, nobody can see you on the radar. You look like a totally, you know, ordinary person if you dress up like it. And uh, the one I'm going to show you right now is actually a wall breach, all right? A really cool one. So this is really for the explorers and stuff, right? This video is really cool for uh, a lot of the explorers and the guys that like to do things other than money glitches all the time. So... What I'm doing right now is I'm actually going out to sea, and if you guys don't know, you can actually get those cool little speed boats. Well, they're not really speed boats, they're little rafts, you know, with the engines on them, but uh, call up Meriwether and you wanna go ahead and request a boat. All right, so you see where it says boat pickup? Go ahead and do that. So you just wanna go into the water, and I'll show you the exact location you wanna be at here in a second, but I just wanted to show you, you know, how to actually get this boat right here, because this is the one you're gonna need to do this wall breach, okay? So I'm waiting right here. The Meriwether guy should just, you know, show up any second now. And there he is. Uh, if you can't order a boat, usually it's because you're too close to shore. So just be aware of that. But once he comes, you can go ahead and get on the boat and you want to go ahead and take out the driver. All right. So go ahead and take him out and you want to, you know, take control of his boat. All right. So once we have our boat, we're going to head over to the spot where we're going to be doing this wall breach. OK, so. Here is the spot right here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the map and it's right over here, kind of close to the docks, you know, a little bit away from it, but uh, kind of in that general southern area. Now, once we're at this spot, this is the area where we're going to be backing up into, okay? Now, you want to go ahead and back up into this area and actually get off the boat at a specific time to go into the wall. All right, I crashed right there, but don't worry about that. So here, I'm actually going to go ahead and back up on this wall and get off. Now, this is what happens when you do it too late, all right? Don't say it's patched because this keeps happening to you. That means you got off of the boat too late. You need to get off earlier than that, okay? But don't get off too early. If you get off too early, obviously this is gonna happen. You're not even gonna go into the wall. You're gonna get off right before that. So this is how you hit it perfectly. Back up into the wall right here and get off and you wanna enter through there. You should go through the wall and you should end up in the water. Now, don't swim to your, if you're looking at my view right now, don't swim to the left. You wanna swim straight, okay? You wanna swim straight to that little, you know, patch of uh, sand right there, that little mountain of uh, sand. And once you pass this pole right here, you should end up on foot. And there you go, you've actually entered the wall breach. This is a really old one, all right, but I'd just like to remind you guys, you know, really cool wall breaches for the explorers. Maybe you didn't know about this, but uh, yeah, you can pretty much see under a large area of the map with this glitch. It's really impressive, all uh, right? You can actually get around that little, you know, invisible wall there if you swim around the, the pylons uh, or, the, you know, the wood, uh, you know, poles right there. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool one to explore. So have fun with this wall breach right here, all right? I'm pretty sure you can shoot through all this, but I don't know how many people you're actually going to find uh, around this area to take out. But like I said, it's for the explorers. So here is the solo off the radar glitch. Now you need a bunker for this, uh, an MOC with the vehicle storage. And on PS4, we're using recent activities. Now I've only tested this on PS4 because obviously on Xbox, you would have to join a friend in a different charging mode. Now nobody's tested it, but I actually tried to test it. Guys, joining friends on Xbox for me is just like the worst pain now i'm not getting alerts whatsoever if i try to join them once that's it all right i don't get an alert after that so if i fail once i have to completely close my game out and it's become a pain so like i said if you want to try with a different targeting mode on xbox go ahead but i've done this on ps4 right here so go ahead and get into your moc and into your uh, personal vehicle storage hover over exit trailer when you get to the back of the trailer where those doors are all right now at this point is where you want to get your recent activity ready uh, like I said, Xbox guys, if you want to try different targeting mode, you're more than welcome to. Let me know in the comment section if you're able to hit it. But you're going to see how the timing is very precise. So you want to hit exit trailer and then immediately double tap the PS button and bring up that recent. All right. And you want to sit on this alert for 60 seconds. Okay. So 
on Xbox, that's a tough one to do, especially because there are a lot of fails with this, okay? You can hit it first try. It's totally possible, but there are a good amount of fails. But like I said, you want to sit on this alert for 60 seconds. And this is the other thing. Right after this, you want to go ahead and decline after the 60 seconds. Decline this alert and immediately bring up another alert, uh, another recent activity and decline it. Then you should be under the map like this, invisible. Okay, so this is successfully what it should look like. Start up the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, back out of it. Now you should be under the map walking around. Once again, something else cool for the explorers. Now, a big fail that's going to happen to you guys, if you see in the top right, what's going on there is you actually will spawn in the bunker behind the MOC. That's a fail. If that keeps happening to you, I don't have a specific fix for it. All I did was it kept happening every time for me. I switched sessions, and on the second try, I was able to hit the glitch. Okay, so... Uh, if it keeps happening to you in that session, just switch. Now, once you're under the map and you've successfully hit it, you want to go ahead and open up your pause menu and find one of these job markers and just start them up. Okay, just any job marker. Usually you end up at the bunker anyways because it's like you're kind of exiting the bunker in a way. But uh, yeah, you want to go ahead and start up one of these job circles. And once you end up in the lobby screen and it permits you to back out, that's what you want to do. Just simply go ahead and back out. Confirm the alert and you should be spawning where the job circle is. Well, like I said, usually it's gonna spawn you in front of your bunker, and right now you are OTR. People are asking what that means. That means off the radar. That means people cannot see you on the mini map or the regular map. You are completely off the radar. They know you're in the session, but they can't actually see you on the map. So if you dress up in like civilian clothing like I've done right here, you can actually blend in. You can blend in and people won't even notice you're there. This guy has no clue that I'm right behind him. He's like shooting cops and stuff. And then even there, he actually turned, he looked, didn't even notice that I was there. But I purposely killed myself because uh, I wanted to show you your solo. It's a solo glitch and your OTR, but the second you die, that's it. You're unglitched. You either spawn back in the city somewhere like this or you'll actually spawn inside your bunker when you die. And you'd have to redo the glitch again if you want to be off the radar. Uh, once again, so that's a really fun glitch to do, but that's the solo off the radar glitch. Very, very easy. Now, this is the launch glitch, okay? Now, most of this glitch is done with a friend, uh, and you actually need a friend to really, you know, do most of it anyways. But like I said, have a friend with you. Link up down in the comments section. What you're going to need is you need a tank. If you want to launch cars, you're going to need a cargo bob. But uh, yeah, you definitely need a tank for sure. Now, so once you have a rhino tank and you got a friend, you want to go to this spot on the map. As you can see, I'm at the beach. I was by the Ferris wheel. You guys know this spot, very famous spot, as you can see all around me. Now, you want to grab some grenades. Have your friend post it up in front of the garage, okay? You want to go ahead and get on top of your vehicle, grab some grenades, and you're going to be lobbing one into the corner, all right, inside of this building right here, okay? Now, you're basically hitting the inside of the garage door. You'll see what I mean once we actually go around to that side. But at the moment right now, I'm just getting ready to go ahead and throw it into the corner. So as you can see right here, I got my grenades out and I'm going to launch it right into this corner. So check it out and it's going to go ahead and explode. Now, what your friend's going to see is actually the garage door just completely disappear. Now, you don't see that yet. You know what I'm seeing right now. So you see, I don't see the garage door. Have your friend just drive through it and then there you go. It's going to disappear. But for your friend, it was already gone. When that grenade exploded, the garage door disappeared. But he needs to make it invisible for you as well. So that's all that is. So that's really what you need the friend for to be able to do that. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and there's a few different ways, like I said, to get launched with this glitch. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is with your friend helping you to actually launch you uh, on foot. OK, with the tank. So you want to position the tank like this or you can go back. To, you know, there's a ladder actually in the back over there at the right. You can go up there that way or like this. Now, once we're up here, you want your friend, as you can see in the top right, you want your friend to go ahead and just move and, you know, F with the garage a little bit with that cannon, all right, with the nose of the tank, you know, that cannon. Go ahead and just keep moving it around until it eventually launches you, all right? This is one of the most inconsistent methods. It works, as you can see right there. I got launched, you know, perfectly and actually really, really high. Uh, one of the higher launch glitches I've seen in this game for sure, at least that we still have working. And uh, yeah, as you can see right here, I'm actually going to fall and not take any. Well, I took a little bit of damage, but that fall should have killed you. But that's why I love launch glitches. You can do stuff like that. So that's one of the ways to do it. Now, I'm going to show you the minigun method. This is probably my favorite way to do this. What you want to do is have your friend or you just go ahead and get a car, something like a big SUV or an armored vehicle. I use the Night Shark. You can use the tank if you want. Uh, anything that's big, you know, an SUV like that. You want to go ahead and position it right where the garage would close down. All right. So right where you see my car right there. Now, go ahead and go to this spot up on the roof 
and get out your minigun and you want to just simply shoot at the garage door like this. Get into this spot where I'm at and shoot at the garage door. And yeah, if you've done it correctly, it should actually launch you just like that. That is probably the most consistent method for this glitch, okay? Uh, I'd say and probably the easiest one to do and that'll get your results very very quickly So that is one of the cool ones to try out. I actually ended up landing really close to where I was supposed to be But uh, yeah, I think on the next one. I have like the perfect landing But that is that spot. So I'm gonna do it again right here or actually no This is when the uh, door freezes So if you try to do this back to back as you can see right here the door is frozen It's not all glitched out and stuff So what you actually need to do is have your friend grab that vehicle and pull it out All right, pull it out of the garage area and just face away. Now, I don't know if facing away really me makes a difference, but that's what I did. And then what you want to do is go ahead and start up one of these job circles that will actually launch you up in the clouds. You, I'm pretty sure you could just start up Titan of a job if you want, but I did the one right there. You want a job that will launch you up in the clouds and then so you can come back down. Now that I'm back down, uh, it's actually going to be fine. The door is still glitched out. My friend's just going to drive through it again. There we go. And the door will be able to move and I can actually get launched again just like that. So you see how consistent that method is? Yeah, you got to do that little job circle trick uh, to go back to back sometimes when that door freezes, but it's well, well worth it. Okay, so right now we're going to be moving on to probably my favorite part of this launch glitch which is actually launching cars so you see that perfect landing <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and launch this car so like i said before if you're launching cars obviously you need a cargo bob because you need to bring the car up there no way to get it up there without that so i'm gonna go ahead and actually just get picked up right here by my friend and i'm gonna get dropped off right on top of the roof all right so this is what you need to do for every car i probably recommend something smaller like the panto uh, to actually get kicked up there because I think the force is always the same so the lighter the car is the better and uh, Just like before you want your friend to go ahead and use the nose of the tank that cannon to F with that garage And eventually it will launch you all the way up into the sky and you can do some crazy tricks All right, not like this one. That was a really bad launch. <laughs> this one is the one you're looking for All right, so I'm gonna get launched right here and there we go so you see that guys, you can get launched with cars, you can get launched on foot with this, with a minigun, with a friend helping you with the tank, a lot of possibilities with this launch glitch. So if you guys want, man, make some videos and stuff and go ahead and send me the links. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I really want to see some creative stuff you guys have done, maybe with the solo OTR glitch, uh, with this launch glitch. Send me some cool clips, all right? But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.